What's up YouTube? Taking a look at this AR-15 I built. Let's get it on frame here. Got the tool I used. We're looking at a good amount of different parts. This is a BCM stock. It was a stock kit that came with everything from this rear plate down to that. Aero Precision Lower. I got a lower kit with this A2 grip. This upper is from uh, I'll post that right there. This company. So this was an entire completed upper, essentially. As you can see, the firearm is unloaded just like every other video I'll ever make. But nonetheless, my bolt carrier group is also from Aero Precision. I kind of like the look of the paired. I did go with uh, ambidextrous controls here on this rifle in particular. Looking at a little bit more details, we got Mod M4E1. This is a really popular lower receiver, especially because the magwell is a little bit more flared out than others. And holding back the paddle right there to lock your bolt and unlock your bolt is actually a set screw rather than a little pin that you would normally mail it in so that was really simple to uh deal with and whatnot this is just your very generic charging handle it was like 20 bucks uh i'll show you the stock fully collapsed and uh i am thinking about staking that castle nut but for now i tightened the absolute shit out of it with this special tool so i don't really think it's all that necessary uh i still also need to get a front sight and a rear sight for it Precision Lakewood, Washington. So, really nice rifle. Nothing too crazy, but definitely, absolutely wanted to make a video about it and all that, you know, as I always do. Definitely pretty bare bones, very standard. Just a little quick look at the components. I did go with the ambidextrous kit. So, my fire selector is ambidextrous, of course. Uh, for a quick review, I'd say the hardest part about building an AR-15 is the detents for the push pins, especially the one on the front. The one in the back, there's special tricks to uh, kind of hold it in place with that plate. You can kind of watch some videos and know exactly what I'm talking about, but it wasn't necessarily difficult. I did it in about 50 minutes. All the parts were there, all the tools were there. Very easy, anybody can do it. Let's go ahead and wrap this up. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Pretty bare bones, but it's definitely a nice rifle. Looking at about after everything's said and done, 750 bucks for this complete build. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll be signing out.